for me, if Moles went up and played in the championship in the right team, I think he would still score goals. And I think the thing now about with this Wales call up, and yeah. people are say, oh, you know, people are ahead of him. But for me, you're scoring goals week in, week out. Even if you go into the National League, you know, to score that many goals and he has done consistently. I if if I was the manager of Wales, I would definitely have him in the squad at under percent. You've experienced some of this, uh, some of this Wrexham sort of sort of craze um first hand, haven't you? Tell us about the US tour. What was it like over there? You were you were a bit mobbed, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, it, it was unbelievable, you know, a great experience as well. And you know, for the football club, for where it's been in the, the past few years, to go out to somewhere like America and, the, you know, the, the welcome that we had there was unbelievable. You know, the tournament itself was was set up great. And I think you had to say who you were supporting. So I think over 20,000 fans come in and out of the stadium on the weekend. And I think it was like fourteen to 15,000 of them put themselves down as Wrexham fans, where a lot of them wouldn't have been to, to the game before. But obviously, would have followed on the documentary and followed them, you know, on on different platforms. But I did speak to uh, a lot that had made the journey over to Wrexham and watched the game as well. But a great experience to be part of it, and you know, everyone enjoyed themselves. How, how big do you reckon Wrexham could be out there? Because it seems to that 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 documentary and what's happened with Ryan Robb seems to have really captured the public imagination, hasn't he? It? it has, yeah, and I, I think they can be massive. And I think as the football club grows. And goes up the leagues. I think the the fan base will. You know, I think the way um, Ryan and Rob do things, especially on the social media side, I think they're excellent on that to engage with the fans and to engage with new fans. But the way they feel about the club as well, I think you can yeah. you get a feeling that they're coming in. They're not just someone who's putting money in to get a return, and they don't care what happens to the football club. You can genuinely see that they care about it, and the way they are with the players, the rapport they've got with the fans. You know, I, I think it's brilliant, and the two of them have done amazing. Let's talk about scout strikers who bloom late at Wrexham and then become national treasures. But who's the best example, Lee Trundle or Paul Mullin? Oh, do you know what? I, I love Moles. I think he's, I think he's a great player. Um, you know, people. What what gets me a little bit is people then try and question your ability of saying, oh, well, you're only playing in that level. For me, if Moles went up and played in the championship in the right team, I think he would still score goals. And I think the thing now about with this Wales call-up and yeah. people will say, oh, you know, people are ahead of him. But for me, you're scoring goals week in, week out. Even if you go into the National League, you know, to score that many goals and he has done consistently, I... If, if I was the manager of Wales, I would definitely have him in the squad at 100% because here's the way I look at it. If he gets a move to a championship club now, he's still exactly the same player. OK, he's playing at a higher level, but he would be the, he would be the same player. And he would still score your goals. So I think, obviously, my career's ended now. So then I've, I'd, I'd moved up and played in the, the championship. Moles is still going. Um, and I definitely think that he can go and play at that level 100%. And I'm hoping that that'll be with, with Wrexham because I think he's found himself where probably the same as with me at Swansea where you go to a club and that yeah. just fits you and everything works around you. And that's why I say him going to the right club because he could move to a championship club and play a completely different way. And, it you know, that doesn't suit him. He might not score as many goals because there's other players who the, the team would play through. But I think if Moles went up the leagues with Wrexham, I think he'd do exactly the same and score exactly the same goals. Yeah, you know, it's it's not just goals with him though, is it? You know, people when they first sort of think of him, think he might just be like a fox in the box player, but he's he's not like that, is he? I think centre halves really know they've been in a battle if uh, if they're up against Mullin. Oh, he, he scores every type of goal, so he will score them where he can slide in across the the six yard box and put it in. But then he can cut in from the side of the box and bend one in the top corner. And not only that, you put on top of that his work rate. He does yeah. he doesn't he doesn't stop running. He doesn't give defenders a chance and. I think if you were going to say one difference between us, he definitely has the work rate.